Let's grab your pens and pads. It's note time. Yay! Well, hello. Mike Lively here, sitting down in the coast of the Bahamas, just enjoying the warm weather of where I'm at and where you are today, which is Houston, Texas. Hey, moms and dads, just wanted to come to you right now. Uh, we were supposed to meet and let you know what was going on with Deeper Weekend, but since we're not able to do that because of the weather, we want to keep everybody safe. Uh, we want to just kind of give you a tidbit of information that you need to know uh, for this upcoming weekend. First, we just want to say to parents, uh, if this is your first time to have your child participate in Deeper, we just want to tell you thank you for entrusting us with your child. Uh, we're going to have a great time with them. We've got uh, leaders in each one of the homes who are gifted and talented, and they are ready to hang out uh, with your students this coming weekend. So we're looking forward to that piece and looking forward to building those relationships deeper for the future. Uh, really, for the first couple things you just kind of need to know about Deeper Weekend is it's really a couple things. It is relationship developing, and it is also just a time for us to do some mission work, uh, and also, I guess I missed one too, not only do mission work, but also just to uh, learn more about God and grow and grow deeper with Him. Uh, just to kind of give you an overview of what's going to happen, you're going to bring your child here on Friday night. Uh, we're going to have a time of just eating, getting to know one another, building community, play some games. They will need to dress up. Uh, we just kind of do like a dress up thing. It's a mafia night theme. Uh, they're in different teams, go around the church, play different games, and it's really about community building before they get to the host home. Uh, that will be over with about 8.45 on Friday night. You'll need to come back here at that time, pick up your child, and take them to the host home. We will have maps for you. We'll have addresses for you to get there and allow for your child uh, to arrive there safely. Once they get there, uh, you can go with your spouse or significant other or whatever you've got in your life and you can go hang out and go woo I don't have a child anymore yay we've got them just know we've got them we'll take responsibility we're going to have a great time Saturday they will be in their host homes they'll do a couple of sessions they'll do a mission project on Saturday morning uh, we do a thing called La Vida Loco where they do a crazy funny movie they produce it together have a good time. It's all about community. They'll come back here at the church Saturday night. They'll have some laser tag games. Uh, you'll go back to the host home. So have another session. Wake up on Sunday morning. Eat breakfast. Have another session. Come here to the church at 11 o'clock for the 11 o'clock service. We will not have student ministry that morning, uh, but we will be in the big service with everybody in a big group. So with that all being said, right after service, you will pick up your child right after service. If you don't attend Gateway, that's when you come back. If you do attend Gateway, then I would just tell you, uh, just come for the 11 o'clock service. And once you're done, we'll have everything set up in the warehouse. And you can grab your stuff and you can go. Thank you for letting us have your child for that time. If you have any questions, if you have any things that you're concerned about, uh, send us a question on Facebook and we'll be quick to to get those answered as quickly as possible, or if you need to send me an email, mlively at gateway-community.org. We'd love to answer any questions. Uh, I, oh, I did forget one thing. Students need to bring snacks and drinks to their host home. That's the only thing I have to bring. Everything else we've got. So we're looking forward to it. Hope you're coming and hope you're getting excited about this weekend because it's going to be a great one. Thanks, parents, and we will see you Friday uh, here at the warehouse with your child, and we're going to have a great time. Thanks again. Mike, Mike what, what should, should the students, students bring? Hey, moms and dads. Hey, I forgot one last thing. Uh, what to bring? Am I silly or what? Uh, not only do they need to bring themselves, that's a great deal, uh, but we really need for them to bring a Bible, a notebook, a pen, the toiletries they'll need, and please, if they're in fifth and sixth grade and they're a boy, please bring toiletries. A uh, sleeping bag, a pillow, a towel, uh, snacks and drinks. I already said that because that's important to me. And by the way, I do love hot tamales. That's a candy that I always let parents know. I love hot tamales. It would be great to have a few extra ones. Uh, bring a swimsuit. Some houses have a pool. They can use that if they need to. 
Uh, clean underwear is always good, and maybe just a little extra money, maybe like 10 or 15 dollars if they decide as a host home to go out somewhere. So that was the last thing. Got to go. Got to get back on the beach, and we'll see you later.